I've been a member uh, of Trinity Church for many years here, and I got to know uh, Tim Schroeder a long time ago. Became a family friend and a personal mentor to me, and I was able to see how he involved himself in the community. And it was right at that time that I was sort of growing in my own awareness of some of the mental health issues, and particularly youth mental health and youth suicide rates and the experiences of depression that are so rampant. And I said, Al, if you want to you be a game changer, get involved in the mental health community. And we had some people we knew in, in common, and so I just sort of referred him to that. And uh, never realizing for a second, although I should have known better, uh, did Al ever get involved and has you know, engaged fully uh, with this initiative and particularly with the, with the foundry and youth mental health in, in our city. And so it was just a simple nudge from me to Al saying, I think here's an area that you might want to play in. It's just that his passion is towards, instead of business, since he retired, now that same passion that he had for growing a, a company now it's transferred, now that he's got more time into doing fundraising and for other causes. Once we identified what the need was and the project and the partners involved in it, we felt really good about getting involved in this cause. Being able to watch this campaign from the beginning, in the middle, and to the end, and watch how people are rallying around it and talking about it and creating a buzz about the foundry. Um, you know, Cologne has got something to offer here that uh, hopefully will uh, lead the way for how mental health across the country will actually be looked at in the future. And uh, that makes us proud to be part of that story. It can be really hard to come to a place of understanding and support when, there's, when it's something that you might not necessarily um, be experiencing um, firsthand, but um, I'm really proud of a city that will come together for its youth. What I say to the donors is, you've d invested in something great. I'm, I couldn't aim something better for you to invest in. I'm extremely happy with what this, the foundry has to offer, and I'm very impressed and grateful that you've donated. You know what, you see a, an individual like Al sort of stepping up and taking initiative and taking leadership on this, and, and, and the question's got to come to mind, can, can one person change uh, anything? Absolutely. When one person steps up, it gives courage to everyone else. And it inspires everyone else. And that one person's step forward actually makes a profound difference. And so, you know, to Al and to others like Al in our community, I would say, whatever you do, don't stay on the sofa. You know, don't stay on the sidelines, particularly if you're part of the faith community. Don't buy into this seclusion mindset that we've got you can make a profound difference. So leadership is getting started and making it happen. And uh, for those of you that uh, are able to do that, th that's a great feeling. And I encourage people to be doing those type of things, whatever their cause may be.